Let's say you live on the web, but you cannot stand Google or Google Chrome. What do you do? This operating system here, Browser Linux, may be able to help. So what's with the dog? Um, Browser Linux is based on Puppy Linux, which, as it loads, I can explain that all Browser Linux is is Firefox and some side utilities, and that's it. It's more um, packaged than um, than Google Chrome. Incidentally, the previous version of of of, of Google Chrome of a uh, browser Linux did come with a Chrome installer, but they have since axed that out. I don't know why. Um, I guess because probably a lot of people were so used to Firefox and they preferred Firefox. But um, as a virtual machine, this will take a moment to boot. This is really only one thing, and that is browser. That is the Firefox web browser with Flash, with the various web technologies to make it work. That's pretty much all it is. Now we'll just have to wait for just a moment for it to boot. Okay, and the very first thing it wants me to do is to probe my screen. So I'm going to do that. And just to make sure everything stays in check, I think I'm going to go with a 10. Let me see. Let me see what we have here. Hang on. The monitor was unsuccessful. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's just go ahead and select. Let's go for a 10 by 7 or 12 by 8. The screen's native resolution is 12 by 8, so I think I'll go with that. Um, let's see. Let's go by for a 12 by 10. Actually, hang on. You know what? Let's just go with a 10 by 7 with a 24 bit uh, aspect ratio. That way you'll be able to see everything. Now it's going to take a moment for everything to load, but what you're seeing is pretty much it. Now the reason I say everything to load is because um, when you hear the puppy bark, then that means that we're good to go. There we go. Um, and there's Firefox. And that's pretty much it. Um, let me maximize this. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, we do have a menu down here. If I go into it, we can do things. We've got a file manager. We've got a basic text editor. We've got a terminal. If we go to more apps, We've got things like an FTP client, an FTP server. We've got um, a calculator, a music player, a PDF viewer. So it's more it's more packaged than Chrome OS, but at the same time, it's still limiting because you can't go in and install your own applications, at least not that I know of. I have not tried that, but they say very clearly here, that if you want a system for editing movies, writing letters, or etc., etc., you know, use um, use um, Puppy Linux, not browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in browser Linux into Google and see what comes back. And right here, browser Linux 401. As soon as I can find my arrow. Ah, right, there it is.
So Browser Linux, it's a 90 megabyte distribution for surfing the web. It's Firefox, Flash 10.2, PDF Reader, and Music Player. In fact, let's show off the... Hmm, that was interesting. It crashed. Hmm. Like I was saying, let's try to show off the Flash content by going to YouTube. And see... Okay, apparently it's hiccuping and loading. You need to understand that this is running in a virtual machine. So it'll probably take a moment or two to respond, especially since I've only equipped this machine with 256 megabytes of RAM. Um, but as you can see, as soon as, as soon as this decides to cooperate, we'll take a look and see. Okay, now we now we're going. Um, so let's see. Um, let's just go ahead and say search. And it crashed again. Hmm. But you get the idea. Uh, browser Linux, and let this be a lesson to everybody, do not equip your system with less than 512 megs of RAM, even a virtual machine. Um, I was thinking since this was the browser that 256 would work. Apparently not. Um, anyway, this is pretty much it. We've got our CD here, which is our VirtualBox CD-ROM drive. And we've got our legacy floppy drive. That's it. That is it. Let's see what we can do here. If I, um, we got our file manager here, which is really interesting. We go into my applications. We've got install Microsoft Web Core, excuse me, fonts, but that's it. If I go into downloads, obviously there's nothing. Um, what's in the choices directory? Oh, I see. Okay. It's basically the core files for various applications. Um, but as you can see, this is extremely bare bones. All this is is the Firefox web browser. If we again, and if you don't want to go down to the menu down here, you don't have to. Um, you can right click. And you can take a look at all the stuff we have here. File manager, we got a text editor. Which apparently is the configuration file for the rocks filer, which uh, I don't want to take a look at because I have no use to really do anything with it. Um, we've got a terminal. So let's just see, if I were to run an ls slash, mm -hmm. yep, just a basic terminal. You can go ahead and list your directories. So if I just wanted to list, uh, what would I list? Let's see, how about user directory? Okay, so you get the idea. It's basically a very, very basic, very rudimentary operating system. 90 megabytes, perfect for loading up onto a thumb drive. And if you're using a friend's computer and 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 they're like, well, what's you know what's Firefox or I don't want to download Firefox. Why should I have to do that? Um, or you don't want to take a chance of getting their system infected. That's an even better reason. Um, the the system would you could run it live over the top of Windows. It would not affect Windows in any way. But you could run it live, do the browsing you need to do, turn off their computer, unplug the thumb drive, they turn it back on, and Windows is right back there. This, I think, would be a perfect operating system for spur of the moment, quick browsing, for netbooks. Um, or again, if you wanted to borrow a friend's laptop but you didn't want to bother with Windows, if you, like me, are um, a very, um, um, you know, they, you just prefer Linux. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. There really isn't much to it. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. And have a nice day, as soon as I can get myself out of here.
Come on. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, um, again, comments are welcome. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.